and here we are back on the channel with another video as you see the lyric graffiti right there ready to go again and we're still in the honeymoon phase with the bike so uh, we want to ride it some more and so let's hop on and go for a ride guess you got to turn it on here first now we'll hop on all right so here we go so i thought this time I thought this time we would head to uh, Cook Park, so that's where we're going to go this time around. I know I keep repeating myself, but I got to tell you, every time I ride this bike, I'm loving it more and more. Still getting used to the bike, uh, <clears throat> but I'm I'm getting more comfortable uh, each time I hop on it. A little bit of a breeze. The temperature's in the uh, mid 50s. I think we're right around 55 degrees here at around three o'clock in the afternoon. Can't beat that. Sunshine, beautiful day, and a beautiful bike. Can't beat it. I do not have mirrors on the bike, so I have to be careful. I'm using my regen brake a lot. I like using that, saving the brake pads but the brakes are there if we need to use the grips this is always a busy uh, intersection right here The bike is a little slower on the takeoff, so um, that is something I am noticing uh, between this and the Grizzly. The Grizzly will go pretty quick right off the takeoff. We'll find out here in just a moment at this uh, intersection how well we do. The Grizzly though, you want to start out with just the rear motor, then you put the front motor in if you want to get that quick acceleration. Uh, you want to flip the switch because if you do both from the get-go your front wheel will spin out on you and you don't want to have that happening so I always would hit the rear uh, start with the rear motor then hit the switch to accelerate with the uh, both motors here we go as you can see, it's a little slow on the takeoff. Definitely slow on the takeoff. I'm gonna have to uh, check that again, like how, how long it takes to get going. It looks like uh, 10 to 12 miles per hour, somewhere in there to get going. That That is definitely uh, not so good. So there, there is a negative there with that. I'd like a little more uh, on the takeoff. I think those guys are showing me that they like their gas-powered motor. If 
But I'll tell you, once you get going with this bike, it, it really goes. It's just a little slow on the takeoff. I'm not going to ride full speed or anything, but I am going to keep it close between 20 and 25, I think is what I'm going to do here. You know, I get whipping along here at 25 miles an hour there, and I didn't even realize I was going that fast. I think that might have to do with, like I said before, I feel like I'm sitting up higher, so maybe I, I don't feel like I'm going as fast, but I think a couple of reasons for that would be, one, um, I'm sitting a little bit closer maybe to the... Uh, handlebars and secondly the handlebars are lower so that's maybe giving me that feeling too that I'm sitting higher because the seat is actually a little bit lower when I say when I'm sitting higher I'm comparing it to the Grizzly of course but what a smooth nice ride though this bike is really nice In the little bit I've ridden it so far, I'm, looks like I've ridden 16.8 uh, miles so far on it. If you, uh, if you have any questions about the uh, bike or any other videos that I put up on the uh, channel, just go ahead and leave a comment in the comments below. I'm doing my best to get to everyone. And uh, I like to uh, share what I know about the bike and I like to, to learn more myself about this bike and other bikes too. It's kind of a great way to get educated on the e-bikes oh, this bike is just fantastic just love this cruising along beautiful day can't beat it I know there's a lot of folks that are still kind of on the fence with what to buy. They want they they're kind of caught between whether to buy a Grizzly or to buy this uh, graffiti. And I'm going to do a comparison uh, video coming up in the uh, future here, not not too distant future, but. Uh, I mean, I can give you my opinion, but on what I like about each bike, I think I'm good. there's things I can already tell that I like about both bikes. But I'll tell you, just riding an e-bike in general is a lot of fun. So if you've never ridden on an e-bike, and you're thinking about buying one, I suggest go for it. Uh, they're a lot of fun and um, very addicting once you start riding. And, uh, you want to go more and more. Hopefully in the uh, future here, we'll get a few uh, rides on the channel here that are uh, a group ride, get into the nicer weather. 
Those are always fun. I've had uh, rides with individuals, but I haven't had a group ride yet. And uh, I have been asked about it before, though, from uh, others wanting to know about that. Well, I want to do one, but I, I don't want to be the organizer. I'm going to switch to the on-road mode here. Because I have uh, enough on my plate as it is with uh, running the channel and then uh, also working full-time job. So, um, and I think getting a group organized and organizing rides and all, yeah, it takes a little bit of time. And uh, if somebody else uh, wants to get one set up, I would truly, uh, in my area, um, preferably, I would certainly uh, join in and uh, and uh, provided I'm able to uh, go that day, uh, I'd love to do a group ride. I'm put it in. Uh, I'm in. Uh, I'm in uh, road mode right now, so uh, not to go too too fast. I'm not pedaling. And uh, just keeping it steady as she goes, nice and easy. So yeah, I would like to um, get some group rides going uh, in the uh, spring and summer. That would be a lot of fun. I'm still in uh, road mode as I go through the path here. I haven't been in here in a while. And I thought, gee, it's such a nice day. I'm going to go and head to Cook Park. Of course, we'll get lots more nice weather coming up. This is just a tease right now. Um, but we're getting there. Flo? Flo? We weave our way around here. I like riding through here, but it it does get. Oh, oh! I think that person was giving me heck for being on the path, but it was in a different language that I couldn't understand. I thought they were waving at me at first, but I think they were giving me shaking their finger at me, like shame on you for being on this path. But you'll always get a few of those that don't appreciate you being on the path but honestly I'm not riding recklessly and I think we have just as much right to be on here as anyone else that's just my opinion but and that's why I'm on here You know, uh, speaking of group rides that we were talking about just a few minutes ago there, I um, think my favorite part about a group ride would be, of course, meeting everyone and also um, checking out their bikes, you know, what other people are riding. That's always cool to me, to see what other people ride, are riding and ask questions about their bike. Whoa, that was close.
Now it's slow going up this hill, but I am in road mode, man. I have it all the way down now. It's going eight miles an hour. Uh, once again, I am not pedaling. I'm just throttle only. I had a feeling there would be several people out here on the path this afternoon just for the fact that it's a beautiful day. It's the first time we've had temperatures this warm since middle of November. Hello. Since middle of November, so a uh, couple of months, so I guess uh, it's time to get out, you know, and uh, do some biking, some walking, just getting out and enjoying the outdoors and the fresh air. I suggest we all get our e-bikes and head out for a ride. Hopefully where you are, if you don't already have good weather, hopefully the good weather's coming soon. I'm sure as I go by several of these people around, they probably, I'm pretty sure, have never seen a Lyric Graffiti before, so it's kind of nice to uh, show off your bike, be proud of your bike, no matter what bike you're riding, I'm sure you appreciate your bike and kind of like to show it off. Hello. This is absolutely perfect to have the on-road and off-road. I love the switch here because right now being on this path works out perfectly to do the on-road. Got to make sure there's no dogs coming. That last one really came out of nowhere chasing his ball. So the bike is so quiet, it sneaks up on people, and honestly, I don't see a bell or anything on here. Am I missing something? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Gee, here I am taking it easy, and that guy's pedaling like crazy. Going a million miles an hour. The sun still sets kind of early, but it's uh, getting a little better each day, though. It's a gradual thing, but... Oh, 
now I get to use my regen braking here. Yeah, I'm really liking the regen braking. That's pretty cool. Save your brake pads. Get a little juice back in your battery. Can't beat that. Hello? Um. Most people are friendly on the uh, path, but once in a while you'll have somebody that shakes their finger at you, or worse. This is why you can't go too fast, especially around here, there's too many curves, you just can't get up to speed. You don't know who's coming around. But that's fine. Hello. Hello. Alright, well that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. Thank you for coming along with me on the ride to Crook Park. First time the Lyric Graffiti has come to the park. It won't be the last for sure. This is one of my favorite places to come. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Also, if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, hit the notification bell. And if you'd like to purchase a Lyric Graffiti, I have the link in my descriptions. Just click on that link and it'll take you to the site for Lyric Cycles and Lyric Graffiti. And then just put in the code, coupon code, which is there in the descriptions. It's Oregon E-Biker Mark, all one word. And you'll save yourself $100 on the bike and you'll also help out the channel. And that's uh, much appreciated, and um, it's an awesome bike, so uh, I'd say go for it, but uh, um, some people are uh, still not sure what they want to buy, but I love this bike, and I'm sure if you had one, you'd be saying the same thing. Awesome. So once again, thank you for joining me on this video, and until next time, take care.